Hey guys, welcome to day three on board the beautiful Norwegian Bliss. We are headed to Sitka, Alaska, and it is coming down outside. It is pouring like crazy. I decided to come back to the observation lounge today just because it's not as crazy busy. It is busy, but not like buffet busy at the Garden Cafe. Um, we're gonna walk around and see what kind of options there are today. I think the race is similar to yesterday, but you know, it's just a nice light breakfast before I go go karting, hopefully at 10 a.m. But at this rate, I don't think it's gonna happen because it's coming down like crazy. So let me show you guys what it's all about and welcome to day three. And be sure to hit that like button, everyone. And if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel and also enable those notifications. This video is sponsored by MEI Travel. Feel free to reach out to me at cruisingwithjt at gmail.com and I'll get you connected to my travel agent at MEI Travel. She'll take great care of you and I'll also include the information in the description below. Thank you so much. I also wanted to mention guys that the ship is sounding its horn every two, three minutes. Um, it's pretty foggy out there too, so just for visibility purposes, uh, they are sounding their horn every two, three minutes. So I can hear it. Uh, but yeah, so that's, hey, that's weather conditions today. Like, I mean, I know actually, our sister ship, Celebrity, or sister cruise lines ship, Celebrity Solstice, ran into a lot of fog yesterday, and I think this is what we're dealing with now, right? So, hey, you know what, that's, that's all good, right? But the ship is sounding its horn, and uh, I think a lot of on uh, on the deck activities today might be canceled, like laser tag is not gonna happen, go karting is probably not gonna happen, but I'll let you guys know for sure when I get there. We got the food bowls, some muesli, cereal options, milk, we got some mango yogurt, plain yogurt, walnuts, banana chips, uh, bread, butter, croissants, cinnamon rolls, bran oats, blueberry muffin, strawberry danish, lemon, lemon danish, and uh, your fruits as well. And of course you have your oatmeal right there. So yeah, similar options, but again, you know, you want to avoid the crowds. Yeah, they have to put these wet floor signs everywhere because it's very, very slippery. So I'm gonna take it extra slow today. Uh, I was gonna go to the go-karting place to see if it's open, but I may not have to do that considering it's really raining hard. So yeah, it's uh, it's about 60 degrees, you know, nothing too crazy. Not Nothing, you know, like it's not freezing, but it's not warm either. So, but uh, this was like weather that we had expected. You know, I checked the weather before we came uh, to Sitka, Alaska, or all, all the ports that we're visiting to, and I think it's raining every day except I think Victoria. So there's the horn. Yep, so they're doing that every two, three minutes due to the extreme fog as well. All right, guys, you know me, I love exploring the ship, right? So I'm still on deck seven outside and uh, I'm just gonna walk in and let's see where this leads. You know, it's all about exploring, right, with JT? Exploring and cruising with JT. You gotta let it go. So you got lifeboats. One thing you notice is that the Norwegian Bliss has red lifeboats. Most cruise ships that you see nowadays have yellow or orange lifeboats, right? So the Bliss has red. <laughs> So here, I don't think there's a whole lot. I don't think there's actual continuation here. Can we go around this way? Maybe, oh yeah, you can. Oh wow, look at this, see? You never know unless you explore, guys. And here, oh, looks like, yeah, it looks like just another walkway here. Pretty nice. Let's see where this leads. So it's, again, it's about nine, just past 9 a.m. on Monday, June 26, 2023. This is the Norwegian Bliss. We are headed up to Sitka, Alaska on a rainy day, but hey, you know what? On a cruise is a great day. And here we have, again, just more walkway, pathways. I'm not sure if, I hope there's an entrance over here, but I'll find out in just a second. Norwegian Bliss, and if you look out in the distance here, you can see a cute little boat out there all by itself. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. And a little boat out there just sailing away. You know, trying to catch some fish, maybe. But yeah, it's uh, pretty, uh, <laughs> Pretty wet day to be out in the waters, but hey, it's all good. Love it. Hey guys, just want to give you a quick update that go-karting has been canceled. And again, I'm not surprised because it's raining as we're heading you know, closer to Sitka, Alaska. Uh, the racetrack is very wet. I talked to the maintenance gentleman up there and I confirmed it with the box office here. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you need to cancel a reservation or excursion, like, well, let's say go-karting or laser tag, you don't have to stand in a long line at guest services, right? You can actually come to the box office on deck seven forward right off the theater and uh, the folks here will take care of your reservation rescheduling or cancellation, right? So you don't have to stand in a long guest services line. I was actually down there earlier, I'm like, wait, I don't know if I'd have standing here just to cancel something, right? But they told me, hey, just go to the box office and there should be no line there. And of course, there was like no one here, it was just me by myself, right? Because a lot of people don't know that they can come here to cancel or reschedule. So uh, no, go, no go karting this week, but um, you know, I've done it many times before. If you guys have not tried it on the Bliss or the Encore, for example, I, I highly recommend trying it at least once along with laser tag. So um, yeah, no go recording this week guys, but hey, it's all good, right? 
I had a great day and hopefully I'll get off the ship. Uh, it'll be raining, but I'm gonna try to take some pictures and videos for you guys. So now I'm just gonna kind of walk around the ship and explore. Guys, if you didn't know, there is a bowling alley on board as well. It's not like a full-size bowling alley, but there's two lanes, which I'll show you in just a second, but it's pretty cool that the Bliss has this on here. Here it is, guys. Here's the bowling alley. It's like a mini bowling alley. As you can see, it's not a regular size ball here, but uh, you can get your bowling on here. I always joke around with friends, like how funny would it be if like you're about to bowl 300 and you, you throw the ball and then all of a sudden like the ship hits a wave and it doesn't get it. Oh my gosh, that'd be crazy, right? But yeah, here's your uh, bowling alley. There is an extra charge for this. I don't know how exactly how much it is, but I think it's about five to $10 per game. So just something to keep in mind if you want to get your bowling on at sea. All right guys, I'm getting my day started with yet again, another Bloody Mary. Gotta love it. I like you know, some sweet stuff for breakfast. Like I need something savory now, and I've really enjoyed that Bloody Mary from yesterday, so it's delicious. Guys, we have arrived in Sitka, Alaska. We're just uh, slowly docking uh, here, and uh, you can see it's still raining quite a bit, but you know, I'm glad that we're here, and uh, you can see some land finally. See, it's really coming down, the rain, but it's pretty nice, and uh, yeah, we're here. It's a rainy, foggy day here in Sitka, Alaska. The perspective of Sitka, Alaska. Again, this is just the port area. There's not a whole lot to do here. I gotta take a shuttle. It's about a 15, 20 minute ride uh, into town, like their main downtown area. Uh, this is of course the port, so this is, you know, where the ship's dock and everything. But again, this is a, another ship here, Viking Orion, like I mentioned. I've never actually seen this one before. Um, again, I've heard of Viking. I just never seen their ocean going vessels, which is pretty cool. So looks like it's a pretty decent sized ship. Obviously much, much smaller than Norwegian Bliss. But still beautiful. And down here you can see the crew actually getting everything set up, right? You got the tents and then they got uh, plenty of umbrellas to hand out to passengers. Place to sit as well. Uh, also, you know, the crew comes prepared. They got their ponchos on. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a really wet day here in Sitka today. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to get off. If I get off, it's only going to be for like 10-15 minutes to take a picture of the ship, but uh, that's about it. No, no, no excursion plans. Okay, here we go, guys. All right, for lunch today, got a course called Taste of India. I got some roti, papadam, matcha paneer, shahi paneer, some dal, and some cauliflower pakora. Again, it's gonna be a beautiful day here at the Garden Cafe because outside it is not beautiful. It's really coming down out there today, guys. I decided to stay on board just because it's like really raining hard, so. Here we go. All right guys, hey, we're on night three of the Norwegian Bliss cruise to Alaska and I've got an amazing sea and view looking out the aft of the ship and the Manhattan room and for tonight's dinner menu I'm gonna go with uh, let's see here we got some options we got them in the Manhattan room I'm gonna go with bruschetta and I'm gonna get a minestrone soup and then have the classic entrees as well that's my charger <laughs> my phone's like low battery after my two hour live on YouTube and then I got the, I'm gonna get the rigatoni primavera with pesto. So I wanna show you guys the options. Just in case you're interested. And I'm gonna stick to just water because I had a couple of drinks during the live, so. There we go. Perfect. It's gonna be an amazing meal, and I just want to show you guys the view as well. Hey guys, here I am. So I'm literally in the middle of the Manhattan room, right? So it's pretty cool. You can see the chandelier right there. Oh yeah, that's, that's epic. Um, and I'm in the middle of the, the room. This is where Lloyd wanted to sit. And the view is gonna be epic because it's about 5.40 p.m. right now here in Sitka, Alaska. All the boards are 5.30. And then we're gonna actually be uh, leaving, I think, at 6 p.m. So I'll actually get to see the ship and the wake from the back here. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. So let me show you guys the view so you can check it out. It's hard to see, but that's the back of the ship. <laughs> it's hard to see because of the brightness. But yeah, we'll get to see the, I'll get to see the wake at least from here. And uh, you know, again, just a beautiful view and perspective here. It's dinner time, 5:30, 6 p.m., and it's gonna be really busy. As you can see, it's getting really crowded. Oh, it's my finger. That's oh, my uh, elbow, actually. But yeah, this is awesome, guys. It's going to be an awesome meal with an amazing view in the middle of the Manhattan Room.
Got hey guys, JT here. I just want to say I'm getting ready for an amazing dinner at the Manhattan Room and we have literally just left Sitka. I can see the ship pulling away from the dock, which is awesome, right? So, um, yeah, we're gonna start, we're, gonna, we're basically backing away from the dock and we're gonna start moving away and I think we're heading towards Juneau, Alaska now. And I'm gonna get to see the beautiful wake view as we head out and uh, it's gonna be an amazing dinner and a beautiful view as well. So, again, shout out to everyone who made it for my live. It was over two hours long, it was epic. Uh, got to go to multiple bars and hang out and really bring in a lot of fun with you guys and the entire J-Team community. So thank you so much for everyone who joined. If you haven't, go check it out on my live replay. It's going to be epic. Uh, it's two hours of fun as always, right, on my YouTube live, guys. So again, shout out to everyone that came out. It was awesome. All my community members, YouTube members, my Patreon members, shout out to you guys. Thumbs up to you guys as well for being awesome and always supporting me and everything that I do. So um, yeah. Time for an amazing dinner guys here we go it's gonna be awesome all right guys so the first item on the menu today is a delicious minestrone soup got some vegetables and some broth looks amazing perfect day for uh, some delicious soup it's cold and rainy outside so i love it here we go guys this is probably the best minestrone soup i've ever had like it's extremely good the vegetables are crunchy the flavor is amazing they did a phenomenal job with this minestrone soup so i highly recommend the minestrone soup in the manhattan room you got hey, look at this like it's so like it's colorful it's flavorful good quantity it's absolutely amazing and of course we have lessica alaska we are sailing away you can see the after the ship right there it's absolutely amazing i got a cloudy rainy day so it's hard to tell but yeah we have officially left Sitka. And we are on our way to Juneau, Alaska, I believe. That's the next port. I love it. What an amazing day today. And for another night, we got to get the bruschetta. I believe this is one of the best bruschettas I've ever had in my life. So it's so good, guys. It's super crunchy and flavorful. And the, the amount of tomatoes they put on it. Look at that. Cheese and... I mean, it's amazing. The basil looks amazing, guys. It's absolutely delicious. All right. And then for tonight's main entree, we got this... Primavera pesto with vegetables, white wine vegetables. Yeah, you can see the quality of it. It's got the yummy boss very hot plate. Quality is pretty good though, for sure. Hello, inside there. Hello. All right, time to dig right. in. The dessert options for tonight are here. I had the warm chocolate lava cake earlier, but I'm gonna do this one. Any guesses to what I'll get? All right, so I'm gonna get the brownie s'mores, graham cracker, walnuts, roasted marshmallow cream. That sounds delicious. I love my s'mores. It reminds me of my camping experience with my family and friends. Awesome. All right, and for our dessert, we have this amazing brand new item I've never had in my life, which is the s'mores brownie. Look at that. It almost reminds me of like the cookie from like Playmakers, right? This looks really good. You got the ooey gooey marshmallow and the brownie, nice and hot. It's gonna be delicious, guys. You got this nice little display. It's like, it looks amazing. I can't wait to eat it. And a special shout out to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much for your additional support. If you'd like to become a Patreon or YouTube member, I'll include the links in the description below. It's basically a behind the scenes view of cruising with JT and special access to various benefits and perks and inside information into my upcoming videos. So if you do decide to join, I truly appreciate your support.